I guess this is where my journey begins. Or my story, per se. You see, I became face to face with a dragon. Not just any dragon, a dragon that was dying. He had a story. He had brought me here for a purpose. But I wasn't sure what. I see the trip here was short, but I have but a few of your minutes to speak. My time is nigh, and my world is under attack by one of my own kind. Young adventurer, I have watched you for some time now. You have defeated one of my own kind before in your world. We are a world of the same. I have fought my kind for as long as I can remember. My kin used a dark force in your world to wound me, and now is sapping my power. Soon, I will join the Great One before me. I have used what I had left to bring you here. Go live within my world. Create a new hope. You carry a great power of wisdom and honor. I will take you to my world. And I am sorry I could not tell you everything. But you know this. I leave many a friend behind to guide you. And that's pretty much it. That's the story of how I got here. The world seemed the same. The still had zombies, still had skeletons, still had things to pick up, experience orbs, and even gravestones. It was so weird. The world felt the same, but it wasn't. It was different. It was odd. Well. I took what I could, so every day I struggled, trying to figure out what to do. Where I came from, there was large cities by the now, and people were using power tools and had great armors. The vegetation, even the monsters. An enderman that looks like a human? I jumped immediately into the water. You know, old trick. And it worked. So the dragon's words were right. Our worlds almost mirror each other, except for a few different things, which is quite odd. By then, uh, well, be honest with you, by now I've already built my shelter by the time you're hearing this, and uh, I've been collecting resources left and right, but the resources are scarce. I may need to go to that village, the one that's across the water. I don't know, it's kind of a creepy feeling, but nonetheless, Life is still here. I'm still here. Which is kind of odd. I don't know what this evil power the dragon talked about or what this other kin of his is possible to do. But I'm going to have to figure out something. Maybe I need to go and talk to the villagers across the water. Maybe they know something I don't. Some time had passed and, well... I got to know some more of the villagers. Matter of fact, I was good friends with a few. They even sent me a mailbox. This world was so weird. But they were good friends. But I had a falling out with the village elder. This world's weird. I don't understand it. Unfortunately, people died. And I was blamed for it. Because I was a stranger. Who knows? But regardless, something's happening in the village. Something dark. Something unknown. I hope everyone's alright. 
I can only pray that whatever's happening, that I can help some way, somehow. Time passed and things got a little bit easier. I finally got myself motivated to start mining again and started working. But the village was different. The letters stopped coming. Just these random notes of just oddness. It was odd. Crazy. The ores here were different too. And then the monsters. The monsters started coming out more often. It was weird. They started gathering troves like like an invasion was occurring or something. I wasn't 100% sure, but what I did know was that my friends were safe, out on the water at least. That was the important thing. I could handle myself. Not a big deal. I had done it all my life, in the other world of course. So I just continued on living, living like I was supposed to, like the dragon wanted me to I guess. Living like a normal person in a world where there was not really a lot of technology. So that was pretty weird. But then something weird happened. I got a weird feeling. So I decided to go check out up top. Once I got to the surface, it was pretty obvious. Something had changed. The air around me had changed. Zombies were dying and falling apart. Their heads were popping off and attacking me. It was insane. It was like the entire world that I was in was actually pushing me down, making me weaker. Even the Endermen, humans that I could take on, were now stronger. It was crazy. And the creepers, well, creepers are going to be creepers. Tall, green, or purple, or yellow, or whatever. But the air felt thick. I was weak. Really weak. And then the inevitable happened. I died. When I woke back up, it was like everything had reset. I don't get it. I don't know. But everything hadn't reset. The village was still there. Everything looked normal. Did I actually die? Did I actually come back to life? Am I a zombie? No, that's impossible. I do remember in my world that a lot of the adventurers when they died, they came back to life. And I'm thinking that's what I've become. I was just a normal person back in my world, so it was really weird. Regardless, I had to restart. And I had to restart fast, and I had to restart strong. I couldn't wind up dying again. Not this time. No way. Not me, and not no one else for sure. Hello, sheep. Ah, another beautiful morning. Oh, let's get to work. Oh, sheep, not again. You're going to caught my trap. Stupid. Anyways, check the met. Wait. Oh, look at this glorious work. I'll eventually have this as a Fort Knox. Anyways, stupid sheep. Let's check the mill. Oh, look here. I got a book, some coal, and a gift from an old boat buddy? What? Let's read this real quick. Find out what's going on. Dear White Dragons. Hello, old friend. By the time you have this in your hands, I will be dead? My village is in danger. Something is killing the people. I am fearful I am next. White, I know you are a stranger to this world, and you were brought here without cho your choice. Please, help my fellow friends. Your fellow friends. I wish I could have stood up to all the leaders when they blamed you for the uprise. And the monster attacking? You didn't... Ugh. Fear has spread in the leaders' minds. You say they even blew up the land around the village. Please, old friend, go and help them. The other towns will not help. I fear they are under attack and are at the end of their own will to go on. I will send a few friends your way to help aid you. I must go now. I have left you a gift. Remember when we... We go on the old wood boat. <laughs> it would fall right up from under us, and we would have to swim back. I've created something even better. Build any type of boat that you can fit. You in a chest. Put them under with the helm, and bam! Unsinking boat. 
please help them wait. Do this as a last request from an old friend. Is he dead? Is he alive? I don't know. But wow, he sent me gold. And he sent me this contraption. Oh, a ship helm. Interesting. Definitely the gold. Hire a guard or two with that. Nice bag, too. Anyways, my friends are in trouble. Something's wrong. I've got to get over there and find out. Maybe this thing was built for other than helping me. So, I'm going to go find out. Alright, we better get started because uh, time's a wasting and I don't know what's going on on the other side of the village here. Uh, we'll have to speculate on whether my friend's dead or not. I went ahead and built a small boat. <laughs> it looks like crap, but I'll make it better. I promise. But I had to learn the mechanics of it, so we got we got left with one and then uh, I went cruising a little bit and got some lily pads. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the chest only works when you are grounded, so uh, anything that you put in the chest, for example, will stay in the chest. And uh, when you when you take off, it will remain in the chest until you, you know, you. Uh, what best way to say it is, it's mounting your ship. It you can't access you can't access your chest. When you disassemble your ship, you're not disassembling it. You're actually just step, you know, getting out of the helm section. Um, nothing can be touching it, anything, so make sure you don't have anything, you know, touching. Like, see, like this piece of dirt right here, maybe an issue. I don't know, but I want to make damn sure. There we go. So I don't have anything touching. Okay. Um, be fair, warn that this thing does rise up. So uh, <laughs> I actually got a problem where I couldn't get on board. So uh, make sure you have something extra on you. So. Uh, basically when you put it all together you'll put the floating pads on the bottom the chair and then you'll have the helm I don't think you have to have the chair but I think you do I can't remember anyways you're gonna right click on the helm and then it's gonna say name your ship so we're gonna name our ship we're gonna rename our ship so we'll name it to dragon's belly how about that dragon's belly all right, so we're gonna hit done renaming. So now this will be called Dragon's Belly. Now you hit assemble to assemble the parts. So uh, we don't have any air balloons because later on we'll be able to create air balloons. There's 38 blocks. The type is a ship, and the mass is 8.7, which is perfect. We have three entities on board: myself, a chest, and the helm. So we can mount the ship, and ta-da! We are cruising. Look at this. The little helm shows our our speed, and I think this shows our our uh, compass. So right now we're going south. Yeah, south. Oh, look at all these villagers. Whoa, 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 whoa! We had a blood a blood uh blood moon. So I got a little sneak peek at how many are over here, and there's a bunch of them over here. So we're gonna have to be careful. So again, like I said before, um, you, when the 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 way you're direct, you're facing doesn't matter. Uh, it's the actual WASD keys that you use. So you know, just kind of like give it a little backup, a little bit, and then um, to get off the ship. Oh, come here! No, no, no! I have to figure out the the um the the brick button, which I think only applies for the for the balloon, but. As long as your ship is in motion, don't get off of it or it'll go away. Or it'll f actually float away from you. It's like the regular Minecraft boats. Go figure. Okay, so in default, this is the backslash key that will set you off. So, we actually are touching. Oh crap. Can I get in from here? Uh, oh, no, no, let me up. Let me up. Ah, mount ship. There we go. Alright, let's back out a little bit. So some places it's okay, some places it's not, so go figure. Alright, let's try it like this. Backslash. Oh, I didn't fall through the miracle. Alright, awesome. So, last time I was here, the village elder hated the hell out of me. And he's still there. Okay. Hello, Ben. Uh, yes. So, okay, hold on. I got the letter about the deaths around here. Oh, okay, okay, I see he's already answering it, so I heard it. Okay, I already asked him. 
And he goes, yes, so the damn letter made it to you, huh? No, the less. Yes, he is dead. He died while on duty. He became a guard and wanted to do something. Whoa, everybody's here. What the hell? Why is everybody here? Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. It must have duped a bunch of villagers. Because they've got the better villagers mod, so it may have duped them. Oh, we lost our construct guy. This is our construct guy? This villager was slain by a zombie girl. Oh. Let's go sleep. I'm using the sleeping bag. It does not give you an actual spawn point, but it gives you the ability to turn day into night without cheating. So that's even better. So, man, there's a lot of people here. Wow. This really blew up the place. Alright, so let's continue our conversation. Uh, I will lead them for you. Uh, first you caused my village to suffer, and now you say we are not safe. Look at these walls. We are safe from the world. You're right, you... You're pretty safe from the world, that's for sure. Uh, you don't look so good. T I'm healthy as a cough. Cough? No, I'm not well. I was bitten the other day at the grave site. My own wife did it from her grave. Maybe you're right. Maybe I... No, you need to get them off out of here. I ain't taking all of them. Let's see, and I will take them soon. Get them this. Sure, I'll take some of your pudding. Cough, I'll cough. Pudding. I'll take some of your pudding. <laughs> Get them from this cursed land. Cough, cough. Go gather them in, but make sure you are ready. I will keep my distance from them. When you're ready, I will. I must go lay down. Okay, I'll go lay down. That's cool. All right, so that's that's a custom NPC mod, by the way. Pretty cool. My first one. Pretty impressed. All right. So we got a bunch of villagers here. Huh. What are you, a farmer? John the farmer. Terence the priest. Good God, there's a bunch of them. I don't get this. All the guards are like there. There's nothing there. Frippin' weird. You're Rosalie the Smith. Hello. Do you have anything special? No, I don't require aid. Uh, trade. What do you have to trade? 18 emeralds for diamond armor? That's pretty nice. Nice. What are you? You're pretty... Oh, you're a baker. Uh, trade. Ooh, flint for... Are all you people gonna want emeralds? Gotta be kidding me. Whoa. Twins. And they're farmers. Emerald for bread. Okay, you may not be coming. How about you? Trade. Emerald for bread. Oh my god, these bastards want emeralds. No way. Alright, well there's a bunch of them, so I'm pretty much going to have to do something first. We're going to have to look into maybe... Okay, there we go. Maybe possibly looking into how we're going to do the bunkers. And because I had a sneak peek when I was just roaming around during the blood moon, I got an idea. And I started working on it. And um, you guys saw a little mini version of it during the... Whoa! 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 During the little cinema. That was before. Come on. Oh, it's so hard to back up these ships. Oh, I want to make a big ship. It would probably lag the shit out of me. Oh yeah, there we go. Nope, nope, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Er, stop, stop, stop. Okay, good. And backslash. Okay, cool. Very cool, very cool. So, the boat's semi-parked. But let's take a look at what we're doing up top so you guys know how this is gonna go. So in the next couple episodes, you may see me doing some small building, but not a lot. So uh, because of the amount of people that are on that village, um, I'm thinking one bed per villager. That's the end of it. Oh, that's the end of your pudding? You guys have got some birthday pudding. I'm not going to get any of your pudding after I'm this? Pudding. I'm not getting any pudding? It's birthday pudding. Pudding? I shall get to Jeff later. Nobody gives me birthday pudding, that's right. Anyways, 
So we got four beds across, so that's four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and then we go up about two or three, and that'll give us enough to supply um, enough people to get going. Um, also, the road here does increase you a tiny bit, I noticed. Uh, not a lot. By the way, all this armor I'm wearing is from the drop mo uh, mob drops, so it's all random shit. See? Protection 3, fire protection, I'm breaking, so. Uh, I'm gonna pretty much choose the best vendors to put here. I have to cough, hold on. There we go. Alright. I'm gonna choose vendors here, and we may later on have to have custom NPC vent, uh, vendors, which will be pretty sweet. But we're starting off small, so, you know, I don't wanna make it too big, but I'm thinking like a food vendor, a mist craft vendor, um, something, 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 something. And there's, there's six here, so if we need to, we can always go up and put more. And then, of course, we will probably need to buy some guard not buy some guards, but we'll probably need to get some guards and get them over here as well. We may have to bribe them with gold, but that's okay. My friend brought me some gold, so. Uh, this will be where we'll be holding most of our animals. So far, all I have found are chick- not chickens, but cows and sheep. So, we're probably going to be going on a hunt sooner or later. See, there's a cow right there. And I need to get him locked up because uh, my trap tends to get them killed speaking of which trap wise uh, we're probably gonna wind up having to do something along the ways of um, killing off mobs because the mobs are gonna be pretty damn hard to fight uh, because the guards are not gonna be able to fight them all so but to make it fair I'm only gonna have a too high wall and then from the too high wall, we will be able to, you know, keep ourselves protected. Um, I will put the game rule in uh, mob griefing false because there are mobs in the game uh, due to infernal mobs, I think, that can just basically shoot and blow up holes everywhere. So, yeah, we're not going to allow that. Hey, Betsy, you want to come in? No. Okay. So that is going to be uh, what's going to happen. Uh, but I'm only going to take for right now uh, because of our limited resources and my limited amount of stuff I have. I've been living off of stone and iron and I think it's time I learned some Tinker's Construct stuff. So maybe next episode we'll get, we'll get some Tinker Construct stuff going. Um, but this I need to build. I need to get this built. Uh, there is the chisel mod in this one, so I may be using some chisel uh, stuff in here. Um, what else? That's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Likes and comments greatly appreciated. Today we, we looked at the Archimedes ships mod. It was pretty cool. We looked at Minecraft Comes Alive mod, which was pretty cool. And we got a good taste of the NPC, custom NPC mod, which was pretty cool. Um, I will forewarn you in the very first episode that there will be some NPCs that are going to come and visit us on not so many regular basis, but they're going to come to help aid us. Remember, the dragon did say he would send help, and our friend did say he was going to send some help as well. So that's two people that have promised us some help. So who knows? And uh, maybe next episode we'll get we'll get we'll definitely get Tinker's construct going because there's Tinker's construct over there. There's a there's a thing with Jiggy, and uh, maybe we'll oh yeah we'll get some farming going too because that's going to get trampled on a lot. And um, this will probably become a mine shaft. We'll link it to the city and it'll become a, a big mine shaft. And we'll get rid of this ugliness. Uh, there is another mod that I have not shown or talked about. And it's the instant structures mod. Um, that that mod, it, it crashes my, my game. And I think, it's a, I think it's a problem with one of the updated mods with the, with the instant structures mod. So we may build, we may have structures already built in the world that come from the instant structures mod. I'm just telling you that straight up. And we may one day use an instant structures mod to build with. Um, we'll see. So guys, thanks again so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been a long time since I've been starting doing, what am I saying? It's been a long time since I've done this. 
and uh, I thought, why not come back with a bang? Why not come back with some new, some new ways of doing things? If you liked it, leave a like down below. If you didn't like it, let me know. Let me find out why. Maybe I can make it better. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.